Hello, I'm Mike Russell from musicradiocreative.com. In this video, I'll show you some Blue Yeti settings that you can apply in Audacity. If you're creating an online radio show, podcast, radio imaging, or simply want to make your voice sound different, you must get hold of my Audacity presets. Head over to mrc.fm forward slash presets. Go and get them now at mrc.fm forward slash presets. Check the mic and make sure it sound right, boy. It sound right, boy. So it's pretty easy to make your Blue Yeti microphone sound good in Audacity. Here are a few tips for you. As you can see, this audio recorded on a Blue Yeti. Now we're switching over to one of the big daddies of USB microphones. This is the Blue Yeti. Now, as you can see, levels a bit all over the place. And well, I could probably make that sound a little bit better. So a couple of quick tips to get things sounding good. First of all, effect. And before we even do that, select all of your Blue Yeti mic and then go for Filter Curve EQ, where we can draw on a nice curve for the Blue Yeti. First and foremost, we're going to roll off some of this low end, like so, by putting two dots and fading down the base. Let's uh, make sure we do that again. One dot there, one dot there, and then preview. Now we're switching over to one of the big dad. That gets rid of any unwanted background sort of bass bumps. Next, I'm going to boost up some of the high end. Now we're switching over to one of the big daddies. Can you hear how that treble has really pulled out the frequencies of the Blue Yeti? Now we're switching over to one of the big daddies. Really, really cool indeed. I also find a little boost around 3,500 hertz works really nicely on the Blue Yeti. Let's notch that up there. Now we're switching over to one of the big daddies. Sounding cool. And then we're going to move out some of the boxy mid-range from the Blue Yeti that's maybe undesirable. Now we're switching over to one of the big daddies of you. And then finally, we'll bump up a little bit on the bass there. So that is all really good. We can apply that. We can save that. In fact, I'm going to go to Manage, and I'm actually going to save this as a preset, and I'm going to call it Blue Yeti. So I'll always remember that this is available for me for my Blue Yeti mics. And before I apply that, I'm going to copy all of this, start a new mono audio track, and paste it so we can mute this out and listen to the difference this effect makes. So let's go into Effect. Filter Curve EQ, Manage, and we'll use my user preset for the Blue Yeti. There it is. Click OK. Boom. So this is after. Now we're switching over to one of the big daddies. And then before. Now we're switching over to one of the big daddies. So we've got. Now we're switching over to one of the. A cleaner, crisper Blue Yeti. And then the next thing we'll want to do, tip number two, is go in and add a compressor here. So in order to make this work perfectly, minus 20 dB on the threshold, minus 60 on the noise floor. It's usually a ratio of 2.5 to 1 I find works well on the Blue Yeti. Attack and release can be left as is. Click OK. And look at how good that Blue Yeti looks now compared to that Blue Yeti recording. So let's listen. Now we're switching over to one of the big daddies of USB microphones. This is the Blue Yeti. No pop filter included with this one. But and that's the original kind of more muffled Blue Yeti and the improved sound of the Blue Yeti with EQ and compressor. Just a few tips as to how you can make things sound really good. But the final thing I'm going to do is actually add on a noise gate as well. And anything sort of below minus 36 is going to be eliminated. Now we're switching over to one of the big daddies of USB microphones. Apply it. And you'll see that anywhere where there is silence now, no background noise will get through. So a final noise gate can really improve the sound of your Blue Yeti, particularly if you're in a room with a bit of echo going on. That noise gate will save you a lot of earache in the final product. So remember, filter curve EQ, compressor and noise gate will improve the sound of your Blue Yeti with ease in Audacity. If you've got any questions, let me know how you get on in those comments down below. Check out my Audacity Ultimate course for beginners. If you are a podcaster, YouTuber, voiceover artist, or audio editor, you need this course. Head over to mrc.fm slash audacity. That is mrc.fm slash audacity. Thumbs up. Subscribe for more. Music Radio Creative.com.